Oh. Toady doesn't lose many games, but he doesn't often get paired with me. So this is going to be uh, interesting. <laughs> oh, I'm paired with you. Oh, yes. Cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm trying to go with like middle of the road, relatively safe powers. So for, yeah, for, for a beginning player, that this is not middle of the road. So just so you guys understand, main ads, if your worker's neighbor and opponent's worker on opposite sides, that opponent loses the game. Kabam! Uh, Pegasus, you can jump up more than one level, but if you do so, you can't win the game on that turn. Scylla can pull down someone from any level uh, if you're neighboring that level and you just move away and the worker pulled down uh, just goes into your spot. And those can only be opponent's workers. And then Dionysus has the ability that uh, if you build a dome, then you get to make a free move for an opponent. And that move doesn't have to be friendly. And neither worker can, neither person can win on that extra move that Dionysus can make. Right. Okay. I'm just watching Toadie's face to see if he looks disappointed. No, no. <laughs> um, you good with me taking main ads? Um, my, my vote would be maybe Scylla to reposition the main ads workers okay uh, that that might actually be strong okay i'd say that dionysus would probably be uh the top couple of picks in the in the matchup personally i mean i not the you know studio one way or the other but okay no nope. i think i am officially steered once, uh, once the, <laughs> once once the first couple of domes go up on the board main ads uh gets considerably weaker There we go. For those of you watching, those are the good guys that have just been placed. We are now um, is there any logic here for placing starting workers that makes Maynard more of a threat? Mm, I'm not sure. Uh, In this case, since the, the opponent's workers are not adjacent, I think we we cannot do much. Yeah, okay. it would have uh, it would have been an instant death on the first turn of the game had I placed C three and C four, which is yeah. fairly standard. That's a that's an instant kill for main ads. Unavoidable. Avoidable, except I'm Scylla. Okay, let's yeah. just go with the standard setup, and we'll take it from there. Mm -hmm. Right, so let's just. Uh... I really love a, a straight up bill on C3 to try for a dome. You would like a dome there, and that just to hamper the main ad. It's not so much that you would dome it. Yeah, uh, central domes, particularly one on C3. It, it, I don't want to say it makes main ads impossible to use, but it makes them extremely difficult to use. Any any domes in the central nine squares. Pegasus is going to be a potent adversary to Dionysus.
So that sets you up to uh, pull him down from the level two should uh, should that happen, or away from the level one should that happen. Right. Whether it's good or not, only time will tell. Yeah, it's 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 an interesting quartet that you formed because Pegasus looks good against Dionysus. Scylla makes sure Pegasus can't get away with murder. Yeah, if your two powers were like swapped in into turn order, um, it would probably be better for Pegasus if I was followed by Dionysus. But... Yeah, that's not. That, that probably should be something folks factor in with a four player game. Um, and I don't think I really do that. Uh, when I'm, I just pick what I like and what's yeah. what seems more powerful, but I, you know, like Artemis after a power that forces the person away or, you know, stuff like that. A climber after a double builder turn kind of thing. I'm, I'm sure that there's probably a way that works out really well. Okay, so if I I like that a lot. That's a good move. Thank you, partner. Yeah, that, that's all you. I mean, uh, in <laughs> fact, I'm I'm going to turn my computer off, and I think you got this. <laughs> <laughs> An army of one. The gourd power. Well, uh, this is so interesting to be on BGA uh, up until this point. Um, I, I didn't think I was an incredibly strong Santorini player, but um, on the other hand, I hadn't met uh, anyone who could consistently beat me, um, you know, more than 50% of the time for sure. Uh, so it, this, is, this has been really cool to, uh, I am not eco protective at all about losing stuff all the time. I, I don't mind at all. So I've just been having so much fun with this. It's a... Uh, Welcome to the world, Gord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the world. It, it welcomes you with open arms. Yeah, I, I mean, I've, I've teased Toadie before and, and some other folks that you, I mean, how many miles do you think you'd have to travel in real life? Well, Toadie, I mean, he could travel the entire planet. And nobody can beat him. But uh, until you find somebody of comparable skill level it's you know some of the higher elo players it's you know four or five six hundred miles another continent and it's i don't know how people learn this uh to that level through all walks of life and places in the world it's kind of impressive how did you learn this Tony? i have to ask how, how did you did you play by yourself play with other people yeah i used to play with my brother actually but um, yeah, I think part of the knowledge comes from uh, a little bit from chess, I would say, some, some tactics and, and ideas are common to chess, and I used to play chess, but other than that, I don't know, because there's not much about this game um, theory about this game like there is for chess, for instance. There's not nearly as many books about it. Yeah. I think I'll be the first one to release, a, you know, before I die, I'll release a book of my great Santorini games. <laughs> I'd read the heck out of that. I mean, I... Uh, I would, yeah, you... Uh, yeah, I we would. need some Love some that. merch. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got two copies of it sold already. <laughs> yeah, sign me up, man. Actually, seriously, guys, what what about putting together a, a compilation of of games um, and puzzles in those games? You know how chess write ups work, where you get to a certain interesting point in the game, and then you you show that 
uh, board game position and and you know you're just wondering what, what could I do from here and oh please uh, God tell I yeah make that book happen yeah whatever, <laughs> whatever it takes uh, if you need contributors or whatever yeah uh, I I'm holy I, I, cow I've never, yes. I, I've never considered it before so uh, I don't want to say that uh, I, I think we should sit on it but I would be very very interested. I'm publishing a book. Um, I've got a publisher and I've got the book 90% written um, on mathematics puzzles for um, young elementary school students. And yet these are, many of them are unsolved problems. Uh, and most of them are creative uh, originals. So I'm going to have experience uh, doing okay. publishing for the first time. I'm going to learn how to use Adobe InDesign probably and yeah, then I'm, I'm up for self-publishing. That sounds amazing. I mean, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd go camp out the night before a bookstore, you know, uh, <laughs> if, if I knew something like that was coming out. So yeah, there's Why already you... um, a Santorini guide in, in BGA, which uh, we have been writing me and another, um, another player so we could uh, we could take some ideas from there and there's also some puzzles already there but there are only a few have you seen that gourd nope that, oh boy so can um, we let, let me uh just get a link for that yes yeah look, yeah and i will advertise that. that on the on underneath this uh this video whenever it comes out i mean that <laughs> full guide santorini that's there. your instant oh. 500 elo plus i mean it <laughs> why did you give me that dome i i just i, I keep one I, I know that whenever you do something it's because you want me to fall into some kind of trap here and <laughs> <sighs> i just thought that uh, letting you move up to that central level too was too much because we cannot force you from from there we are on top of a level two but you use Scylla and you can push us to the ground but we cannot do that once you get to level two you can stay there for for as much as you like more or less like that Okay. That level three is kind of interesting because yeah. it is quite a ways away from your workers. Yeah, sadly, I agree. Sadly true. Yeah. Yeah, I debate I did debate that in my mind. I, I think probably our next logical move is maybe to take uh E three. Oh, for sure. Uh don't um, worry. So I, I'm on my way. <laughs> you don't need to probably but, at, at the same time, Ooh. at the same time, I'm thinking of uh, B3 and build on C2. C2, yeah, I thought about, yeah, go for yeah, that. That's, I mean, uh, we've also pretty much busted main ads in, in a big way here with those two domes. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I'm happy with the main ads problem. The only, the only issue we could run into would be trying to, to defend against what they're doing up there, that, that nefarious business. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Ah. Yeah, I'm not sure if you needed to build another level one. I guess it forces them out. Okay, so what are you thinking here, Gord? Do you want me to attack or position to defend? You want me to build a level two on <laughs> I, B2? I think. And maybe drag them down? I, like, I think if you build on B2, uh, go offensive on, on our side and let me go... Oh, maybe that's not good. No, no, no. Um, yeah, what, what what are your thoughts? Well, I guess I just have to sit here and um, count maybe, out the moves. Maybe we need to, maybe we need to think about B2. Maybe it, it could be a dome as well. Um, yeah, if they, if they try and climb. So, so if I moved D2, C2 and dragged from E3 to D2, that person can't climb. They'll have to use the C4 worker to climb. Um, 
<sighs> and we could just level three them. Or build a dome on D5 and really screw them up. So, so that, that that's something else we could do. We could, could go uh, B3, B4 and build on B5 right now. What would prevent them from just playing something like oh. build on? I, I don't know. I, I don't really want to add blocks to their structure. That's, yeah, that's and kind the, of the other problem is like them moving to B3 and building on C2 would be, uh, uh, would just make me unhappy. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I got you. Okay. So I was thinking that I was Scylla and I cannot do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, that. That is interesting. Ouch. Why didn't you guys say something? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I don't want to give up B3. I think that's given them too much access to our, to our little building. So what, what happens if you um, went to um, B4 and built on C5? I know that looks counterintuitive, but uh, With think Pegasus about... coming up, um, what if he just jumps and puts a level two onto D4? I guess you just drag him down. Yeah, yeah. You see, I think I'm, I'm thinking I'm okay with that. I know it's counterintuitive. I don't know if you've got a. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm racking my nerves about that, but. Uh, you don't like it. Go, go big or go home. I guess. I mean, well, what? So let, let's say I do that. I'm just going to look at it real quick. Yeah. Their, ne their next move is probably to climb. I mean, we're, we're blocked off of the corner. They would jump D4 more than likely and start building on the E column. If I had to guess. Yes, I, I would agree with that. And I think, I, th I, I think things would get pretty nasty. At yeah, that point. you're right. You're right. Um, so we can't do that. Agreed. I don't know. I'm going to go for this guaranteed level two, I think. Yep. And, and if we wanted to turn that next turn into a, a three and let's try it, try to threaten with Dionysus. I think that's the right move. Then, uh, mm -hmm. don't know. And if they throw up a level two on C5, that's a level three for us. Um, um, so I'll tell you what I'm thinking, Toadie. You can tell me if this makes some sense. Um, I kind of like the idea of following him back to D2 that he just left, uh, building on the space that I just vacated. Uh, so it kind of mm -hmm. still adds to our structure while maybe getting um, preventing them from winning down the bottom left. Yeah. The problem is... I don't know if that's too slow in the sense that they ju can just climb to B2 and build in A2. And uh, they now have a, thre a threat while we don't. So um, I don't know. Maybe we have to go to D4 and build in, in C5. So that they move the B3 worker and then we can go to B3 and build in B2. Yeah. To prevent them from using that level two, for example. Um, what it does allow is it'll mean that after B2 is built on, uh, it is uh, Dionysus, uh, whoever you pronounce that name, and there's a number of level threes that are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's true. How much damage can uh, <laughs> can he do? Dionysus likes to ruin people's days. I will tell you that. Oh, I, I I like our position actually. Uh, that was so the right move. The last one. Whenever I start to look at it more, I just think, oh well, what were we even thinking about? There's no doubt that that was the right last move, right? The B two build. I mean, it, it, it has enough speed that I yeah. 
I think it's it's threatening enough. I mean, it can, it can go, like I said, it can be pretty dynamic. It can go to a level three. Then I get some play with, with Dionysus. Um, I was thinking that that was the main purpose for it, but now I think, no, no. It, oh, no. So, as so direct as, threat, as, it's awesome. As, as Tody mentioned, the next logical move is Scylla would drag their worker um yeah, because it's main, it's the next turn. Scylla would drag the worker to B3. You would move A3, and a level two on A2 and B2 would be probably not winning directly, but it would be really strong. Right. So um, just to... I think here the start, the start of the game is Scylla. <laughs> um, so my thoughts here are my thoughts here are just to dome c5 not to dome to, or to, uh, to three it yeah i, three I think it. that's that's absolutely true yeah um, i think that that's correct for us it's the only thing I'd explore is is whether we want to drag that worker out of C4 or not. I think they looked uh, they look cramped enough, right? Yeah. Now. Um, and I don't want I don't want them on A2, so I, I think you're probably actually right. actually I think you're right. I think it's better for them to be on A2. Uh, no, maybe not. See, I don't want main ads to be activated again. And if they got on A2, then suddenly there might be threats um, to kill off one of us. So I think we skipped that, correct? Does it? Yeah, I, 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 it's, it's not clear to me what, what's the right play there. We're doing it. Yeah. I think it's because it because uh, on C two we're now obligated if he moves to B three to jump down as our next move. Our workers are separated; they can't build for each other, and and that's kind of what I saw as the, the the issue. Whereas Pegasus, if they if they jump to one of those level threes in the next turn and they level two on B four, uh, that doesn't look terribly pretty for us. I mean, I think here we have to build uh, the level three and B two. Other yeah. otherwise, the position seems very dangerous. Um, yeah, that that's fine. Um, sure, if they go ahead with uh, a couple of domes, um, yeah, I think you can least, recover. At least Pegasus is afterwards, so yeah. less likely to be trapped. Mm -hmm. You can recover quickly from from that position. That's quite sweet, I think. Oh, maybe not. This is a juicy turn. <laughs> Um, uh, how do you how do you want to do this, Gord? So, um, um, yeah, I, I'm in. So, my first thought, and whether it's right or wrong, I see move A three, start the build on B two as the first dome. Plan to use my power, do all three domes, and get them the heck away from us, leaving A two where we can do something with it. Um, and probably trap them up there on E5 in the corner. So here, here's what I was thinking. I was thinking of um, B4 to C4, building on D5, then moving D4 to E3 and building on D2. That gives our blue guy over there some flexibility to move. And it also gives our other guy some flexibility to move up. 
yeah, that's um, hmm. Hmm. um, Gordon, would you have to talk a little bit about what the process was like getting uh, such a great 3D rendered game on uh, Board Game Arena? Because uh, there's, there's very few games that um, are, are like this on the site. Um, well, I, I can tell you very simply, I, I just discovered that this game was on BGA about oh. two months, three months ago. <laughs> so Wait, so uh, you so Gav, didn't have Gavin, to be asked? For... Yeah, Gavin, Gavin from Roxley Games uh, had made the, all of the arrangements uh, for, for this to happen. They, wow. uh, BGA approached uh, Gavin from Roxley Games early on in its development and asked if uh, if Gavin would be willing to put um, Santorini up as as a um, freebie game, and uh, Gavin said yes. So that's that's uh, that's the history. But I, I maybe Gavin told me, but I just must have forgotten, or I was <laughs> wrapped up in our app. And um, you know, I, I generally I don't play. I try not to play. Let me rephrase it. I try not to play uh, video games because. Uh, you know, life's too short. I've got other things I want to, I want to do. Mm-hmm. So, uh, do you, do you think any uh, of your your future games may end up here as well, or it's kind of completely out of, of your? I think all of them. Yeah, I, I uh, really want to see Santorini New York on here. I think it would be a better fit for BGA than Santorini. And that's because it's multiplayer. Um, it's not pure strategy. So there's a luck-based element. Um, I, I think it's better suited to this crowd. I heard in an interview, you've got like, you know, dozens and dozens uh, of prototypes and ideas and such locked in the basement. So uh, <laughs> when do you get to unleash those on the world? And uh, if, if you're watching this channel and you can help Gord do that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah please, I, please I am, make an offer to the man i am so not a businessman i i i uh, do the d5 because oh like that well you said you wanted to oh. move to e3 and the build here is that correct as i read it yeah, I, I, but I would have, at this point, I would have had C5 open. I would have done everything like this, except I would have C5 still ready to be domed in an emergency in our future, because we're right there. Mm. And it's not like, it's not like anyone else is there. So sure, sure. Yeah, that's true. Um, do you want to do anything about B2 now? No. Okay. Leave that open. I, again, I think that's potential for our future. This is actually, yeah, I, uh, I think, I think, I, I think I'm on board here because if we L2 on C2, um, they're not Pegasus in that turn and we'll get a free level two out of that and it could be pretty good. Um, okay, so back to the topic at hand. You are you are not a businessman. Your your basement is full of uh, creativity. And then what? Um, right now, I'm I'm very focused on mathematics uh, puzzles and just really enjoying that uh, that space to be in. Um, so, it, it, but I love both. I love designing math puzzles that are so complex that I can present them to mathematicians and simultaneously present them to grade two kids. I adore being in that space. And it's, for whatever reason, it's, it's not hard to come up with these um, extremely challenging mathematical puzzles. So I, that's a joy. Um. I used to be uh, quite into reading uh, maths books that had uh, particular stories behind the different um, 
uh, different like uh, formulas and equations and mathematicians. And there was one that I that I really loved called uh, "A Passion for Mathematics" by uh, let me I had to look up the author here, uh, Clifford Pickover. Have you ever had yes. any experience reading yes. his work? Yes, um, not not his work, but um, I, I think he's done uh, some nice proofs that I seem to remember in the back of my head. Um, he just has the the, the strangest stories, which. Um, uh-huh. If you're into maths, it might be a, a fun, fun read. Okay. And there aren't many fun reads <laughs> uh, for math. So, trying to get main ads back in the game somehow here. Yeah, finally. Uh, um, I'm not sure exactly what our threat is going to be. The problem right. is if I build on C1 or D1, um, the the worker on c2 is as likely to use it as we are and mm-hmm. if i build on i don't like e3 because i feel like um actually I, I, helps the... I was gonna suggest e3 because we can go there next there's okay, so we, something we are threatening about to build d4 yeah. no we are threatening to win in the next turn by moving to d1 yeah, of course, that's that's the threat I'm setting up. Uh, but but in terms of building on E3, uh, there's a smaller threat of moving back to E3 ourselves, building on D4, yeah. and then they're uh, blocked out from moving up there. Sure, yeah. let's, let, let's go for it. Okay. So, Kevin... Yeah, you I, get all the easy turns, don't you? No, I have to vacate my the premises here. Um, oh, no, I can pull. Okay, so I'm going to pull. There we go. That solves that problem. There we go. Pull. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to build. And I'm just Wow, I'm glad we're partners because I <laughs> I only saw out of fear moving C2. And uh, that was a good was move. Yeah, that was close to a win for, for them. Kept us going in our, uh, our 11th hour. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, that that was actually really good. You got us a climb out of it. You obliterated Maynards for another turn, and I still have that juicy little dome I can make. Um, cool. Yeah. This is okay, Kevin. I feel comfortable. Comfortable. Um, I'm going to drink a tea. A glass of stout. <sighs> Maybe this move. The problem I see is that maybe that female worker will somehow get get um, will be able to to be all by itself in the in that uh, in that triangle. Yeah, if she moves to e two, uh, she can start to build uh, up on the fourth rank. That's um, going to happen. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I will tell you right now. E3 is the destination. Um, the other option is oh, hmm. we can try to play it safer by moving to E3, but I don't know. This move, it feels like if. Um, if Dionysus doesn't build the dome in the next turn in B2, then it, you it, can move to A2 and threaten to win. And Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can threaten to win. I'm just wondering, is, is getting rid of this doming B3, B2 worth it just to take away that possibility from him? But, um... but a worker in A2 then... The problem here is that we are not 
uh, we are not being able to use main ads correctly. At least it's very hard because of Scylla. Yeah. And especially Scylla being right before your turn. Yeah, but I don't know if you have any other suggestion. The only other move I see is moving to E3. Or maybe even moving to B3, but building the dome. Yeah. OK, maybe that move. Because I don't like letting Dionysus have the possibility to control our workers. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, what I can always try to do is get my get a worker back to C4 so that if they do try build um, with their female worker, uh, yeah, Pegasus yeah. can at least try jump up. Mm -hmm. What you thinking, Gord? We're kind of obligated to do something with this bottom guy. Um, the, que the question is what now that... Uh, well, but we don't have to do it immediately. We can take our... Oh, yes, we do. Yeah, we absolutely do. They've got a, yeah. a maintenance yeah, no, no. threat. You, you, you take that uh, E3 spot and um, then let me figure out about what to do down there. Hang on a sec. I mean... This is, I guess this is a rules question, but if if Pegasus moves the white workers to sandwich our C2 guy, does that activate Maynard's power? No, no, no. It, it, it has to be played no, on. No, Maynard specifically says, like, end, end of your turn, which I think means end of uh, that end, player's end. turn. Yeah. So well, some of the powers are always active, like Hades, well, for I example. Yeah. Okay, I have been playing as if it was uh, my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, okay. this is a perfect time to test it. <laughs> uh, for science. But I think I think we're good for an E4, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... That's good. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, maybe they have no better move right now than to test that hypothesis. <laughs> Don't you try to lead me into making a terrible Yeah, jump, jump to the ground. There's some really nice grass down there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we want you guys to... Uh, might be a new species if you look at it real close. Mm. Don't, don't horses like to eat grass, Pegasus? So I'm unfortunately going to run out of time here in 12 minutes. I have to... Take off, guys. Okay. I'm... So you're you're telling me to hurry up. I understand. No, no, no it's just I. I, I think I just need to well, we could throw try to... away my build here because nowhere that I need to build is any good. Um, what do you think about B five here? Yeah, that's okay. It's more about the getting into position rather than building somewhere and. Mm -hmm. uh, Gord. Yep. Would dragging him into E3 and building D4 sound kind of good to you? And building D4. That's, I mean, if they don't if they don't move out of the way, that sets up something pretty nasty, right? So, what what would stop? Why, why don't I just do this here? Without oh, never mind. Out. Yeah, it's. It, I'm sorry. It's like it's only, I, I was thinking it. What was about only, that? Yeah. Is that better? Yeah, yeah. My bad. I thought okay. it was gonna turn into a level three. Okay. Well, 
Well, now knowing that about main ads in four player, it's it almost seems like uh, amongst the, the weakest powers in the game. What do you guys think? Uh, in four players? Yeah. I mean, if it's just the end of one single player's turn and not the others on a team, um, in terms of when you can activate it, that seems... I don't... I wouldn't say one of the weakest. In this matchup, it feels like it is very weak because you have Scylla right before a main nudge. So we, it is very hard to to use main nudge. And also Dionysus for kind of forces to um, complete the domes. So we have to waste moves building domes and even as if that wasn't enough, we still get forced by Scylla right before Maynard is turned. But if you see it like that, Bia is even weaker. Sure, yeah. I think now we have to go to C4. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Perhaps building B5. Yeah, let's might as well try to get a, a level two. I think we're about to lose, but that B5 square um, can make us dream a little. <laughs> Okay. Um, we, we don't need to win. We just need to wait more than 12 minutes until... Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah I know. Okay. Um, so, Gord, I, I'm inclined I, to circle that C2 guy around and simply build on E4. So I'll show you my idea, and then um, then you're going to do your idea. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not it. Well, I guess he's, yeah, he's not Pegasus next oh. turn. Oh. Uh, this is my idea here, and this is my uh, my default idea, and you tell me what you think of it. The problem is that when you do a second level three, it's going to have to go on to E4, and that's defensible. because you'll be on E5 when you place that. Okay, your, your shot, tell me what you th you're thinking. I think you need to keep D4 in position and move okay. C2 just kind of down and around. B3. Like force him to C2. No, no, the other way, the other way. You would, you would move D1, force to C2, okay. and try to, try to jump up to uh, E3 and and D1 is what you want. D is in duck. Duck one. Yeah. Well, <laughs> duck one. Okay. Just just to and think I about it for a second. I know we don't have a lot of time. Got it. Okay. But I, I think I think D4 is such a strong wall. Um I think I think moving it would, would lose us a lot of potential. Okay, good. Done. And if they if they move, I mean, they really just can't get to E4 as effectively as we can. If they try to build nearby, we can add height. If we move to B5 and build C4, we lose. So I guess moving this worker in this direction is kind of forced. Mm -hmm. And uh, where to build. It's tough to so, say. Yeah, so what happens if you build um, like on E3? Like, is Does that just uh, mm. run into immediate issues? E3, I don't like it. They move to E3 and build in D4. We, we can... <laughs> Pegasus can jump to D4, but that's not not even close to ideal. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think uh, we just build in E2. 
because even with your suggestion a level two in e3 if uh, Scylla moves to e2 then she can force us to the ground because there's a there's no there's a ground level adjacent to that square so i think we may want to level the board uh, i don't know okay um but that was a good I move mean, to the one for our worker i like that yeah I, I mean i can't see what kind of counterplay there is to to just next uh, turn e, e, e3 e, yeah it's it looks like a golden opportunity uh i, I won't even think about it there we go and and if you yeah. on e3 um then I would have pulled down and would have, oh no, but then, then they their Their main ads in the following turn. So what we wouldn't want to do is try to win on a Pegasus turn because they'll just sit on our level three. And even if we tried to double win, they could sit on one and dome the second. So uh, kind of doing it this way. And now we just. I have to do this, right? I don't have a choice. Movie four <laughs> and uh, yeah end of the story okay so, so tell me what you just move oh, okay got it, yeah, got it, you, got it. You, oh duh. you 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 okay, win looking game. for something complex there you win the game yes <laughs> uh, you. i see got it yes and just in time <laughs> yeah yep, just in time for tea yes that's right cool. Amazing. You can see all of these complex moves and then uh, <laughs> something like that. Like, oh my goodness, there's something complex. I have to run, guys. Take care. Yeah. Thanks really for the game, guys. Real enjoy. Bye bye. Cheers. Thank you. Catch, catch you all later. All right.